when I go into a bank I get nervous. The clerks make me nervous. The counters make me nervous. The sight of the money makes me nervous. Everything makes me nervous. The moment I cross the door of a bank and attempt to do business there I become an irresponsible fool. I knew this beforehand, but my salary had been raised to $56 a month, and I felt that the bank was the only place for it. So I went in with dragging feet and looked timidly around at the clerks. I had an idea that a person about to open an account must consult the manager. Can I see the manager, alone? The accountant was a tall, cool man. The very sight of him made me nervous. My voice was hollow. Certainly. The manager looked at me in some alarm. He felt that I had some terrible secret to reveal. Come in here. He led me to a private room. He turned the key. We are safe from interruption here. Sit down. We both sat down and looked at one another. I found no voice to speak. You are one of Pinkerton's men I presume. He had gathered from my mysterious manners that I was a detective. I knew what he was thinking and it made me worse. No, not from Pinkerton's. I said to seemingly imply that I'm from a rival agency. To tell the truth, I am not a detective at all. I have come to open an account. I intend to keep all my money in this bank. I said it as if I was prompted to lie about it. The manager looked relieved, but still serious. He concluded now that I was a son of Baron Rothschild, or a young Gould. A large account, I suppose. Fairly large. I propose to deposit $56 now, and $50 a month regularly. The manager got up and opened the door. He called to the accountant. Mr. Montgomery, this gentleman is opening an account. He will deposit $56. Good morning, I rose. A big door stood open at the side of the room. Good morning, and stepped into the safe. Come out. He said coldly and showed me the other way. I went up to the counter and pushed the screwed up ball of money at him with a quick, convulsive movement as if I were doing a conjuring trick. My face was ghastly pale. Here, deposited. Let us do this painful thing while the fit is on us. Is it deposited? I said in a hollow vibrating voice. It is. Then I want to draw a check. My idea was to draw out six dollars of it for present use. Someone gave me a checkbook through a counter, and someone else began telling me how to write it out. The people in the bank had the impression that I was a millionaire. I wrote something on the check and thrust it in at the clerk. He looked at it. What? Are you drawing it all out again? Then I realized that I had written 56 instead of 6. I was too far gone to reason now. I had a feeling that it was impossible to explain the thing. All the clerks had stopped writing to look at me. Reckless with misery, I made a plunge. Yes, the whole thing. You withdraw your money from the bank? Every cent of it. Are you not going to deposit any more? Never. The clerk prepared to pay the money. A foolish hope struck me that they might think something had insulted me while I was writing the check and that I had changed my mind. I made a wretched attempt to look like a man with a fearfully quick temper. How will you have it? What? How will you have it? I caught his meaning, unanswered, without even trying to think. In fifties. And the six? In sixes. He gave it to me and I rushed out. As the big door swung behind me I caught the echo of a roar of laughter that went up to the ceiling of the bank. Since then I bank no more. I keep my money and cash in my trousers pocket, and my savings in silver dollars in a sock. Ha <laughs>